My first ship as a cadet was a complete disaster. I went into depression. I generated this fear of the sea and I was in no condition to join the second ship. But I had to complete my sea time to get my degree and my certificate of competency. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I prepared myself mentally as well as physically to join the second ship to complete 183 days and finish my journey as a cadet. Let's start the video. It was June 2016. I just signed off from my first ship, totally broken, depressed and generated this fear of the high seas. In fact, I even uh, told my parents that I do not want to go back onto the high seas. And I was almost on the verge of quitting and sending the company a, an email that that's it from my side. But somewhere down inside, the spirit was telling me that no, not yet. Well, understand that some things are not in your control. I say destiny is also not under your control, you can just observe it and play along with it. I decided that I'm going to build my mindset again as a paratrooper and join the second ship. I got an email from the company that in two months, that will be August 2016, you would be joining your next ship. And I was fearful. I could not, could definitely could not say yes, but I did say because I had to complete my sea time so that I could get my degree and my certificate of competence. If I would not do that, then all the three years of studies, the first cadet ship would have been a kind of waste. So let's talk about how I prepared myself in those two months. The first 30 days were bad. I mean, I was running around the hospitals thinking I have a physical problem, but the problem was here in the mind. Eventually, I understood that and I started reading the Bible a lot. Now you would say, how did the Bible help you? I would say the words inside the Bible helped me so much. I still thank God for uh, helping me at that time. So in the morning, I used to pray and read that. Then I started swimming. Now there is a very good endorsed relation from my side that if the physical body starts to feel good, the mind automatically becomes your friend. That is why people focus so much on yoga, breath work, sports, gym, etc. Because that comes first and then comes the training of the mind. In physical sport also you are training the mind, but when the mind calms down after a physical exercise, then you can give it good nutrition by good knowledge. So I understood that and the next 45 days, I started training like hell. I started reading a lot of self-help books. The first book I read was by Naveen Gulia of how an aspirant of paratrooper fell down during his obstacle course and he hit his neck uh, on the ground and got neck down paralyzed. And what he did after that was amazing. Naveen Gulia ji, if you watch this, you are a true inspiration to me. And then I read a book called uh, The Power of the Subconscious Mind, which helped quite a lot to understand the past impressions, the memory, whatever there is in the head of the first cadet ship. So I trained my mind like that. And my joining came from Malaysia in August, 21st August 2016 or something. And at that time, I had become more like a, a, a person who's observing his emotions and not the, the emotions controlling me. I was just observing them. Because once I was about to leave my home, everything came back and uh, it was telling me stop 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 it's going to get bad but i was like just observe the observe it you have trained well now you need to go and complete what you started so i went and it was malaysia august and i went with a warrior mentality as soon as i stepped on the gangway a lot of past impressions came when i was stuck on the first ship you know uh, thinking of how a prison type uh, environment I am in but I did not let it get into my head. It sounds very vague like how I'm speaking but I'll give you a few practical tips 
what I did on that cadet ship, the second ship, for seven months, which helped me and made me a totally different man. The first and foremost, like I said, the physical exercise, the routine of that. So I learned my lesson on the first ship that if you go to the gym and lift heavy, and there is a small rule, you can hurt your shoulder and your back really bad. So I cut out the lifting part. I went into pure calisthenics, that is pull-ups, parallel dips and push-ups. So these are compound movements, so your joints are considerably safe in case of a, a weird movement. So I trained for that like every day, not every day, like whenever I used to get time, mostly every day for 30-45 minutes and I used to <laughs> Uh, go outside my uh, cabin. There was a, a pull-up bar and a parallel dip bar installed there and used to exercise whenever my work was over. So that was number one priority, like no compromise on that. And that I would say was 50% of the battle one, the physical exercise part of it, maintaining it consistently. The second very interesting hobby. I am a music fan, like I, I love the old classic rock uh, the 60s, 70s, Pink Floyd, Dire Straits. So I had a guitar in my uh, recreation room. Uh, there was a there was an Indian cadet who used to play. He was from the Philippines. And I told him, man, teach me because I had a I had spare time of one one and a half hours. And I thought, okay, why not make the most of that? So I started learning from him. Then I installed an app and started learning the chords, the basic chords, the progressions. I am very bad at it, so I will never put a clip of that. But that opened a lot of channels in my head. Like, I could not imagine that I am playing a guitar. Like, I have no, I had no uh, sorts of creative talent in me. I was more like a, uh, like, like a sports person, just do this, 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 this. Uh, you know, no extraordinary creative skills. So that opened up a lot in my head. And I realized the power of doing something consistently and getting good at it. Number three, another very important habit or I would say a lifestyle change was that I started eating healthy. By that I mean I avoided sugar. Yes, I used to have ice cream but I used to have like a small portion of it. If you cut it out immediately, your mind gets a lot of resistance and it wants to rebel. So I slowly cut out that sugar part and I stopped having burgers and hot dogs and french fries. You get that on Sundays and Saturdays, uh, those who are shippies, they know that. So I started cutting out. The alternative was I used to keep some of the uh, food, which was like dal and, you know, sabji uh, in the fridge of the galley and have it the next day. So a lot of discipline was required for that. But I knew that the gut also has a mind of its own. And if it is not behaving well, it directly tells this mind which is over here that something is wrong and then the mind goes backwards. So eating good is a lifestyle which till date I follow. Okay, sometimes I fail. Suppose with Rhythma, I have to go out and eat. No complaints Rhythma. Yeah, till date I maintain that and that is very important. You will understand that. On that note, I also used to take some supplements like multivitamins and all uh, just to, you know, uh, feel good that okay all the vitamins are there it is more of a mind game and of course you're ex i was exercising so i needed all that nutrition so it gave me a lot of self-confidence uh, very 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 helpful uh, thing next what i used to do was uh, journaling yeah journaling my thoughts so first step was journaling what was happening in the mind and you know just putting it down there second was an action plan that of course, the work is going on as a cadet. I even had to uh, write my uh, training journal, which is a separate thing altogether. So what tasks needs to be done there? What uh, safety measures I have to learn about and all of that. But uh, action plan of what I want to do, suppose in terms of exercise, workout programs and all of that. So I used to focus on the action. I used to write down the thoughts and just discard them, like make it into a ball of paper and throw it. But the actionable plan, I used to write them down and also the uh, future goals, I used to write them. I know many people talk about journaling, but they are right. It works. And the next point which I uh, focused on was participating with the crew members, you know, like uh, involving myself in work, helping the, uh, the crew, the engineers also at times. So it gave me a sense of uh, a team. In the first ship, I used to feel very alone because it was first time and I had this setback. But this time I focused that yes, 
I have to be in a team, uh, be involved, work. Because believe me, when you're on the ship, there is only work which can make you happy. So in my case, I started uh, working with other departments, trying to understand their roles, their jobs. And that uh, actually gave me a sense of purpose and the time also flied by quickly. So uh, it, it helped a lot in that way. The most important point, I had faith in the divine. So uh, at that time, I also started uh, listening to the Hanuman Chalisa, I remember. So every night I used to listen to it. I had no understanding of what the Chalisa was saying, but the rhythm, the words of it automatically used to give me strength. And I, till date, I listened to it every day in the morning and the Bible also. And I started uh, listening to Gurbani. So much wisdom, so much knowledge. And that, I would say, was the root of my strength the everything i told you was the outer part but the inner part was there i don't want to force religion or uh, anything but the words the wisdom from the text the scriptures are so powerful they gave gave me a lot of strength so uh, all thanks to that bird which came in my on my first ship i understood what uh, the ancients used to talk about on that note, I also started admiring the beauty of nature, once again appreciating all the sunrises and sunset. At that time, I was not a YouTuber, so I used to not capture it, but just enjoy and get merged into that oneness. So it was a very powerful experience. And seven months went by very quickly. I learned so much. I completed my training record books and uh, my captains were pretty good. They were from Netherlands, both of them excellent captains. They helped me so much and I got trained by them very well. I used to uh, do navigation watches with the second mate and chief mate and they used to let me, uh, you know, sometimes uh, control, the, uh, control the ship in the traffic under their observation. Gave me a lot of confidence. Why am I telling you this? Because the first part of this uh, conversation, which was whatever steps I took, was like the base and all of that learning comes on top of the ship and your day-to-day uh, uh, -day career uh, moves and lives and all of that. So I understood that very well, practicing all of this. And I'm pretty sure that many of you feel or face all these situations, tough situations out here on land as well. And believe me, when I come on land, I think the challenges are even more because there are a lot of distractions here. So all these steps I try to implement here and they work the same, absolutely the same. So it was like a cheat code I cracked and till date, that is that current year in 2016, uh, learned so much that in 2023 also the same momentum from those is being carried out. And that is why I was able to get the confidence to even speak in front of the camera, I would say. And even, you know, uh, make videos, do editing. So many things have started only because of these practices. Suppose you're a cadet or uh, suppose you're a student in 11th or 12th and you're discouraged and you're feeling depressed or feeling uh, low. So understand, these negative things and emotions are important because they teach you a lot. And you have the control to, you know, uh, push through it and work on the alternate good habits. So I consider myself blessed that that depression happened and I could come out of it. And it could have not been without the help of inspiring personalities, knowledge, and most importantly, the divine. I hope this video helped you in some way or the other and you learned more about me and my personal journey. Do let me know in the comment section whatever topics you have in mind I should cover and I'll do that. Of course, this series uh, will continue. I'm excited to go back on the ship also soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel till now, do consider that. Stay fit all the time. Always pray to the divine. Because of them, we are here. Jai Hind.